of a Sephora haul to share with you. I have been testing these products out for a few weeks here, so I'm ready to provide my overall thoughts. But keep in mind, the upcoming sale is coming, the VIB Rouge for spring. So it starts April 14th through the 21st. And um, you know, just kind of keep that in mind because perhaps some of these items might be on your wish list. Of course, I will be filming what I plan on uh, picking up too. So first thing, um, I need your help on a product. I've had this in my bag here. I haven't touched it yet. So if you have this one here from Vanessa Myricks, it's the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. It says face and eyes. Let me know basically how you use this. I haven't looked it up yet. It has, uh, oh, it says universal on here. So I'm assuming it's a primer. I'm really not sure. Let's take a look at it. I literally just had it in the bag here. I probably just assumed it was another product. <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't even look it up. Okay. You know, I always have to smell something, but it looks to me like the uh, Tatcha, you know, the Tatcha primer too. So I'm going to leave it right here out on the desk. So that way it reminds me to look it up and to kind of play with it. But again, if you have this, let me know, you know, basically how you use it. First product up is from One Size Beauty. This is the Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio. Now I've tried a few things from this brand, didn't really care for it, so I just, you know, really wasn't mm, interested. But my friend told me about this is on the website. It was on sale. And it probably still is on sale. This is the shade. I'll just go ahead and write it. It's rich, profanity word. Because I don't know if YouTube takes, they do something now when you curse, um, you know, on um, in videos, so. Whatever. This is what I love about it. The cream, which smooth, pigmented. Then you have the middle shade here, which is the powder, which is matte. I've used that for eyeshadow too. And then you have this shade here, which is like a satin shade here with, um, it's just the texture look like it would be shimmery, but it's not. I've used this as eyeshadow, like I've said, beautiful plum look super fast and easy and of course as blush I was shocked I cannot wait to throw the packaging away for this oh so it's Pat McGrath and a whole little sequins I will find sequins all over the place but this is the skin fetish sublime perfection it's the uh, blurring under eye powder now I have the shade medium okay this is just a product I've, I've swatched a lot and every time I've swatched all the shades they leave some sort of a ashy tone on my hand so I never really was interested about it and then I have two artist friends that say no 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 you've got to put it on your skin and it just will disappear but it really will blur and no, no cakiness, no creasing, no nothing. And they are right. I'm so glad they mentioned this. So this is, again, in the shade medium. And it will just disappear on my skin. It has a slight, I can tell in the magnifying mirror, a slight brightening effect to it. Soft powder. There's no talc in it. Oops, I think I almost nicked it. It's just beautiful. Every time I've reached for this, I really love how it looks underneath my eyes. And it works with any concealer. Again, there's no creasing, no nothing. So I'm, I'm very happy that I have this. Yes, looks can be deceiving with swatches. Next are my samples here. Real quick, I'm just going to let you know. The Super Goop Daily Dose. This is a um, sunscreen that has like a pump to it. It's like a little big bottle here but I like the ingredients so it's mineral too if I can remember from memory and I liked how it just just sank into my skin there was zero zero white cast so whenever I do find a mineral foundation because I prefer mineral foundation mineral sunscreen that leaves zero white cast on my skin I have to spread the word so I'm not going to pick it up yet because I have other sunscreens to go through but again I'm just letting you know in the case you know you like super goop and blah you know all that blah 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 
what do I think about it? And zero white cast. Now, Makeup by Mario is up here. So I got a couple samples here, 19C and 20N. These do not work on me, they're too light. The foundation is, you know, the, um, what did he call it? I'm trying to remember from memory. I don't really remember from memory <laughs> what it is. Sorrel, Sorrel, Sorrel Foundation. I don't have the bottle anymore because I took it back already. That foreshadowing how I felt. At first, I could see the glitter or shimmer, whatever, like through the bottles. So that's what my first impression was. Oh, here we go again. Another glittery shimmer, whatever foundation. But I was shocked. I looked in, of course, all my magnifying mirrors. I went out in the sun, everything. I did not see any shimmer, any glimmer, uh, glitter, nothing that would indicate those particles. So however they just suddenly sort of disappear when you blend into your skin, it's not there. So that was my first like, oh, okay, that, you know, that's a good sign. I, I did have a radiant complexion. I, I could see the glow on my skin. But every time I would wear it, I kept thinking, it just reminds me of my, my skin tints I have. So to me, who you know, I have already a lot of products, I'm thinking there's no reason to have this in my collection when it just reminds me so much of the other uh, foundations or tints that I have. The texture of this, I feel, is thicker. It's not thick, you know, full thick, but it's a thicker formula than, say, a, a runnier skin tint. But when I got the Say complexion uh, foundation, the, the glowy, here we go. We've got two formulas that are, you know, supposed to, in a sense, work the same. Uh, very dewy skin, radiant skin, clearly, I mean, I did it on TikTok, I did a comparison, I did Say on one side, I did Mario on the other, and the minute I put the Mario on my face, not only could I see, obviously, the texture difference, it's much thicker, My the, the Mario side looks drier on me, it was drier, and then Say was like instant hydration, okay? And then when I went to go take the foundation back the other day, um, the sales girl said she doesn't like the Mario too because it looks dry on her. There you go. And that's just how it is. Of course, these are just going to look different on everybody. I prep well, but his foundation on me just look, it, it just appears a lot drier and there is no way I'm going to have any dryness on my skin and do which. Okay. So I'm not going to miss it. It's gone. It's out of here. And of course I stick with what I have and of course I stick with my, my Say foundation. So next up in here is something, a brand actually that I know I barely talk about, Smashbox. But then also it's not like Smashbox is coming out with anything great. And it's not like they drop and stuff majority of the time. But this product I got actually um, during Ulta's 21 Days during fall, but I'm including this because you can get it at Sephora still, and it, it it needs you know to it should be talked about. It is their Cali Contour in the shade Medium Deep. So they do have two of them, you know, a lighter one, and then this is for the medium uh, skin tones. Now, if you're somebody who likes a lot of different pans in their case, sometimes I like that, especially just for portability. I have everything with me. I can use it as eyeshadow as well then I love that. So for the deeper complexions, actually I'm gonna hold it back like that so you can actually get a good look at it. You have a bronzer, you have a contour, actually I forgot which side is what. Yeah, this is a contour, the, the deeper shade is the contour, that's the bronzer, you have a highlighter, you have like a yellow tone powder, you have another highlighter, and then you have a really nice satin blush. Now in true Stephanie fashion, I love to of course go into every pan here and mix and match and it looks really beautiful on the skin. I was just impressed with the fact that all the powders blend well, the highlighters too, there's no patchiness in sight. Um, even when I used it as eyeshadow, quick eye looks, and then you know you can put a little bit of the highlighter on a shimmer. The, um, the highlighter is, it's beautiful. You can build it up to a beautiful natural like beaming look but it looks realistic and natural and the blush shade is just gorgeous 
this this beautiful like everyday color again goes with a lot of different skin tones so I like this I was like okay Smashbox and I got it at a great price okay, next is a another sample here so you know like this with the Danessa deluxe sample here this is from Rose Ink the skin enhance luminous this is the tinted serum this I thought would have some level of pigment do it you know I know it's light coverage but something to make me feel as I'm rubbing it into my skin that I'm actually something is happening okay and not just rubbing away water but even though you know it's a small little sample here let me tell you something these are like little balls of pigment I mean you don't have to shake it up they start to you know disperse as you put it on your skin it disappear just like water I'm like what is this this should be something that you can pick up at the drugstore at a really good price whatever price they are charging for this I know has to be quite a bit because you know it's rose ink clean well the clean I know doesn't mean anything but I think they consider this a high-end brand for something that is literally water water the sheerest thing I mean you might you might as well just use Neutrogena skin tint and save yourself a lot of money so I'll use this up because it's a tiny little sample and I mean there is barely any pigment in here. They actually should have just called this no color foundation. So I don't know what their intent is with it. Don't care. So it really didn't do anything. So moving on. Tower 28. I've already talked about these. I, I think I did a short. I think I did a short video. I don't think I did an actual video video for this. But this is the Sculptino. So this is now Towers Cream Contour Little Pans here. Same size look and design as the blushes and then the bronzers and two, you know, the little cases here, the little clear cases. But I got uh, both, Hammer and Silent and I mix them both. I could just tell from the swatches on the, the arm that I was going to like both of these shades and I'm a big mixer. I, 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 what do I say all the time? Mix your products if you want to, not just to get a custom color, just so that you can use as much as possible. You would be surprised if you start dipping into everything you know how quickly you're going to use them up so this that's what they look like right there creamy this is the creamy form just like the blushes creamy easy to apply you use your fingers I would recommend using you know, your brush or a sponge and they I'll get no patchiness here's the little you know same thing no patchiness blends well Beautiful pigment. Tower again. We'll stay on the tower trick. Oh, I, I've got two tower items in here. Yep, I've got two. So this is their lip liner, the multi-liner. It's called a uh, one-liner because you can use it as eyeliner. You can use it to uh, contour with to, you know, depending on what shade you have. I already have the deepest color here, which is called Draw Me. So I don't know if they're going to make you know more shades I think they only have four but I can wear of course like I said draw me I've contoured with it too I've used it like you know kind of brush into the crease so and of course you can use it as a lip liner so that's why they call it one liner so it's multiple purposes but I did want to try this one which is that dusty or I like to say dusty rose color and it's the shade work of art and let me tell you I'm sure people are going to be like that's not geared for darker skin. Yeah, they love to put that online. We just gotta try it, and it does. It works on me. So I'll show you the shades here. So this one just has a pinker tone to it, and then of course the deepest shade right there. So I like them. And then this is their like tinted balm stick, also new that came out. I just grabbed one shade called mix and it's actually the official title is the juice bomb so i always tend to want to grab for those everyday colors because i know that i'm kind of constantly apply it uh sometimes you know obviously without a mirror i want something very versatile so it's just like a nice little chubby stick there 
and then you have it where you swivel up to see the color. So there it is right there. And then of course the other liner shades. So I like it and it doesn't even have a smell to it. It has that like, you know, it's titled correctly. It has that juicy appearance on the skin. There's no plump action. It's not supposed to be, you know, doing all that stuff, but it just looks like a Almost like you're putting on a gloss, but just, of course, in a different format of a stick. Rare Beauty is next. I had no business grabbing another highlighter. <laughs> in the shade Exhilarate, because, uh, you know, we all have those friends that just get us in trouble. It's like, will you stop telling me this? But, no, I, I'm happy I have this shade. Uh, this shade is, I would say, the closest dupe that I've seen for the ABH Amrezy highlighter, which of course is disc discontinued. It's something about that shade that I just, I, I love to death. There it is, right there. Obviously that's a heavy swatch, but this tone is just so beautiful, I feel, on darker skin as well. It's like instant, instant blend, instant shine, and you can build it up and it, there's no emphasis of anything on the skin. They did a great job. I'm trying to look for a white. Amazing job on this formula. I have another highlighter recommendation from a viewer. She left a comment. And if she remembers who she is, <laughs> please leave a comment that you saw this. Um, I do thank you for this highlighter recommendation. It's from Westman Atelier. So that's a luxury brand. It's Sephora, it's clean. This is the mini size. So it's the petite light up highlight stick in the shade Nectar. It's actually what I have on today too. So it's just what I think why she left that comment is because I mentioned how much, you know, I love my Merit stick in bouts. And she stated this has a very similar formula, but in the shade Nectar. I already forgot the name. And she's right. This just it goes on so good. This formula here, it's not a thick, like gummy texture. It's smooth, beautiful, just like the Merit one. And this color, Nectar, I mean, it's just gorgeous. And it's just a beautiful, natural, but realistic glow on the skin. Milk Makeup Concealer is next. I got the Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer. I chose the shade 19NC because this has a pink tone to it. You know, me and my pink, my pink concealer. That's my train now. Future Fluid. I do like Milk's concealers because they do offer coverage. They don't crease on me and it's just like lightweight. And the texture I feel is that nice, smooth, creamy texture. I, I'm a texture person, especially with my dry skin. I mean, these, I know these new, like Urban Decay's, um, the quickie one, and I'm not here for that dry and loose look, okay? I need, milk will produce that nice um, texture I know that I'm looking for that would just melt into my skin. Last product is from Say Beauty the color chili in their liquid blush. Now this, again, it was a shade. I was, I, I, this shade was being promoted so much for lighter skin. It just went like one air and out the other. But when I was swatching, I was like, but let me swatch chili. Cause everybody, oh, you ask any girl with light skin, chili, 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 chili is everywhere. And lo and behold, chili looks good on I feel darker skin too. So that's what it looks like. It has that little pink, little pink, like the dusty rose shade. That seems to be my color. That just, it's my everyday color for some reason, but it does, it works great on me. See, look, it does work. And I've mixed this shade too. I've mixed it, I've worn it with Spicy. I think they have one, right, called Spicy? I'm trying to remember. And, um, What's the other color? Dreamy. Dreamy. I've got Dreamy and Poppy and Spicy. I've mixed them with all those. And chili looks beautiful. Okay, the, I, I lied. I got one more here, and it's only because I actually got it off Summer Friday's website. But again, you can get this 
on Sephora too, and I would recommend it too for the sale because I love their lip butter bombs. Love it. I have the vanilla shade here. I was like somewhere. Boom, look right over here. It's right here. The original, what's it called? Vanilla beige. This is my cover. It stays right here. Right here next to my little Huda bomb. So this shade is, I believe, one of the new ones, brown sugar. So I said, I gotta try that. Who else with darker skin has always been called brown sugar their whole life? Okay. I was like, I gotta try this. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Mm. Yeah. Do they all have that sugar smell to it? Oh, love it. That's what brown sugar looks like. Look at that by itself with a lip liner. I, I had to have it. I had to have it. And I got this too, which I just throw everything up in here. The little cloud bag, but in this beautiful color blue. Just all the little everyday favorites, everything, just throw it all in there. And it's right there at my fingertips. So again, you can buy it on the website, buy it for its forest sale. But I don't know if Sephora's gonna have these new shades in stock by then, but otherwise just get it on the website. You like a big old bag that fits absolutely everything in the kitchen sink in, get it on the website too. They're great. Okay, that is it. I'm looking around. That's everything. Yes, that is everything. So that's my little haul medium size haul and my thoughts. Let me know in the comments if you tried anything and that's it. Thank you all for stopping by. Have a wonderful day, wonderful evening, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care. Bye.